So LaTeX is probably my favorite document formatting besides Groff because Groff is like helpful. LaTeX is for books, Groff is for man pages. Don't tell me anything otherwise. Oh, well, I guess you can use LaTeX for like math and essays and stuff. LaTeX is for writing, Groff is for man pages. Okay, if I want to if I want to have a man page, I'm going to write a man page in Groff. You're not going to write it in LaTeX. That's stupid. Okay. Now, LaTeX can help you write beautifully formatted books, okay? So if we go over here, I have this Git repository, Books and LaTeX. Now, I only have two books here right now. I have a third one that I've also, like, typeset it already. I just haven't uploaded it. Um, the Art of War, and I can show you what these books look like. Uh, hold on, let me just get this short cut. That's why I have those, right? Um, books. You just go to this books directory. It'll pull up this, and, um... You could already see the, the tech file there, but um, Art of War, let's open this up. So all the Art of War PDFs I find online just like absolutely suck. And so I was like, well, what can I do to fix this? Well, I mean, I guess just write it in LaTeX. That's that's what I did. And they all look exactly like this, all, the, uh, all of them, except for um, the newer ones. I haven't been adding the chapter title at the top because I think it's kind of lame. But uh, with something like this, it makes sense, because then you can quickly, like, reference, like, oh, chapter 3, number 11, right? So, makes sense. But this looks great. I couldn't find a single PDF online that even looked remotely as good as this, okay? So, we need to start normalizing LaTeX PDFs. And um, the way that I want to do that is start putting popular books, well, not, like, popular, popular books, um, but start putting books into LaTeX format. So right now... Sorry. Right now I have two books, uh, The Maiden Who Travels the Planet, Final Fantasy VII book, and another Final Fantasy VII book, Lateral Biography. Okay, and this is both parts in case you're familiar with the book. And you know what I hated about this book? Well, the translation, it wasn't official. It came from one place, thelifestream.net. And this is a website, and I hate reading on websites. See, the problem with this website is if it was all, like, one page, I would be fine with that. But let's take a look at how they decided to publish this, because even though they published pretty much all of it on the exact same day, they had to put every single one, okay, this chapter is 1 to 46 translated. Hold on, my internet's a bit slow here, I don't know why, sometimes it just is. They had to put every single one on separate pages, so I had to go through literally all of these and copy and paste. Now I was going to try and scrape the uh, text from the HTML, but then I was just kind of lazy, so I, I went through and copy and pasted because I figured this would probably be faster. But um, like look, if I, if I click on this, then I wait for it to load, and then I start copying at the top, I'm going to go all the way down. I mean, I got a sequence for like this, but still, not really the point. Um, so I copy pasted them all into this tech file over here and uh, let's see how many lines it is. I think it's like 5,000 something. I didn't ob I obviously didn't write anything. I wrote all the formatting and stuff but uh, yeah, wow, okay, so it's so long the page like isn't even rendering all the way. Um, yeah, don't look if you don't want to get spoiled I guess but yeah, so it won't even load the entire uh, thing. Oh my god, my browser's like lagging. I'm gonna have to close this out. Anyways, it won't even load that. So, very long, but when you look at, like, the size of, like, a LaTeX file, like, this is, this is kilobytes. Like, compared to the PDF, literally, like, doubled it. And, um, so what I have set up right now is, like I said, those LaTeX files, um, each one, it comes with the tech file and the cover. So, uh, you might be wondering, like, how am I supposed to compile this into a PDF? So all you need to do is actually, um, let me zoom in real quick so you can see this. Um, all you have to do is install the LaTeX packages on your distribution. I have no idea about Windows. Don't ask me about Windows stuff. Um, so on Arch-based stuff, it's going to be techlive-most and then techlive-lang. This will give you pretty much everything. Um, Debian, Debian, however you want to say it, um, tech live dash full. That's going to be stuff like Mint, Ubuntu, obviously Debian, um, Devuin, I don't know all the ones, but anything that uses apt. So if you're on the cringe pop OS, then you're in luck. 
Um, and then Ford Fedora. So they have a, a little bit of a different way. Um, so they you install the tech live dash scheme dash full package, and that is just like the LaTeX thing. But if you want to get any of the packages, then you have to install them separately. So you do like sudo dnf install tech live scheme full, and then you want to do sudo dnf install, and then in single quotes tech uh, parenthesis. And then this is a uh, this is an actual package, the hyperref package. I even use it in the book, so I can have a nice table of contents. And then um, this is I think like a style kind of package. It's for presentations actually. But um, so yeah, if you want to install that, then you just do sudo dnf install and then single parentheses that. And then if you're uh, I guess if your distribution doesn't have packages like this, I only know about Fedora having this. But if your distribution doesn't, then you can install the TLMGR package, which is basically, um, I think it's literally like Tech Live Manager. It, you literally can just manage packages from TLMGR. So that's kind of cool, I guess, but I'd rather do it in my own, like, native package manager. So um, let's talk about compiling these, okay? So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy the lateral biography thing to, let's just say, LB. Uh, whoops. So, uh... Oh my gosh. Sorry, I cannot type today. So all you have to do is type in, and once you get these packages installed, you type in PDF LaTeX and give it an argument of the tech file. Hit enter, you wait, and boom. Now it's done. So let me close this out because, I mean, take a screenshot if you need very quick. All right. Let me open up. Sorry. Uh, and there we go. So open that up. And look, this is this is the PDF of that tech file. So uh, hold on, let me do this real quick. Whoops. Uh, tech. So yeah, so all this um, seven thousand five hundred lines, by the way. So all this very quickly compiled into this. Um, I don't remember how to use uh, Zothera, really. I don't I don't use it very often. However, um, I guess it just didn't decide to render the table of contents page. Uh, when I publish them in the books directory, they're going to have everything like perfectly set up. But uh, yeah, so this is a nice LaTeX document of a book. You can see like there's page numbers and stuff, chapter names. Like It's like an actual book, but obviously you compile it yourself. And um, well, let's just, get, let's just get the obvious out of the way. This is like kind of piracy. Um, I'm distributing basically like the source code for a book. So this is like, do it at your own risk, I guess. You, you probably have like literally nothing to worry about, but I guess just err on the safe side. Um, yeah, it's it's a text file. Well, tech file. No, no T at the end. But it's a text file. And um, yeah, not really much to say about them. Now, if you want to uh, request a book, then you can do so very simply if you go on to my website swindlesmacoop.xyz and you go to at well at the top it should say contact if it will load here you go contact info I need to fix this little box it's kind of bugging me um, you can text me on signal obviously not my real phone number I just got a random phone number like a VoIP number so I'm using it for signal um, you can text me or you can email me at swindlesmacoop at waifu.club. If you look at the bottom left of the screen, you can see my email address. And the mail to part is not the email address in case you were thinking that. And um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you uh, if you want a book in LaTeX, I'll try and make it to the best of my ability. Um, it needs to be in some kind of plain text format, whether it be like on a website or just a TXT file or something. And... Uh, yeah, just give me some time, and then I'll just publish it on the Git repository. And if you want to see my other Git repositories, you can go here and uh, scroll through all of my stuff. It's kind of annoying to make videos with slow internet. Anyways, I know it's not slow compared to, like, years ago, but yeah. So, um, man, I need to... Wow, I haven't pushed anything besides my dot .files and stuff in a long time. Regardless... Go here if you want to see pre-compiled books. I don't actually. I do have the Maiden Travel of the Planet and um, what's it called? Ah, now I forget. Lateral Biography. There it is. 
Um, I have those both on my website. They'll have the table of contents and stuff. Don't worry about rendering that stuff. If you don't want to install LaTeX, because honestly, it's like a gigabyte worth of packages, um, then you can just go here. I'll always try and upload them. I might start uploading them to the Git page. Not sure. However, um, this is just a little fun project I wanted to do. I like LaTeX. I like being able to challenge myself and format things in LaTeX. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I need to think of some kind of closer for my videos. I usually just say, like, have a nice day or something. But, uh, yeah, it's kind of boring, so I'll think of something. Uh, but I think that is about it that I wanted to talk about. So, uh, yeah, have a nice day.